Did you know that the danger area of a volcano covers around a 20 mile radius? This means no, there should be no settlements in a 40 mile diameter around the volcano. And the volcanoes we have on this list would cover that with just magma. We're not even talking about the ash and the dust clouds. So if you want to know more, here are the top 10 volcanic eruptions ever. Let's dive right in people. Number 10, Minoan Volcanic Eruption. Boy, do we start off this list with a good one. It's not just a pat on our back. This eruption had a DRE, dense rock equivalent, of around 14 cubic miles. That means there were around 14 cubic miles of magma and dust that the volcano erupted. To put that into perspective, it would be equivalent of half of the water in Iliamna Lake in Alaska. Wow. It's assumed that this eruption took place around 1600 BCE on the island of Thera, current day Santorini, and it destroyed the Minoan settlement on the island. And according to the Volcanic Explosivity Index, or VEI for short, this is a level six or seven volcanic eruption. The volcanic activity destroyed the land of the island, the nearby islands, the coast of Kret, not to mention the earthquakes and tsunamis that followed the eruption and ravaged the coast. Number 9. Lake Toba Volcanic Eruption It seems like volcanoes prefer islands. Anyways, Lake Toba is located in North Sumatra in Indonesia. What's interesting about it is that this is the largest volcanic lake in the world. How big is this lake actually? Well, it has a length of 62 miles and a width of 19 miles, and it's around 1600 feet deep. It holds around 58 cubic miles of water. The eruption that arose from this once active volcano happened around 73,700 years ago, and the VEI of this volcanic eruption was level eight. This means that there were more than 23 cubic miles of ignimbrite, the debris that is released from the volcano. To be exact, all of the material released during this eruption was somewhere in the range of 670 cubic miles. About 480 cubic miles was magma, and the rest fell over the lands in the form of rocks and ash, also known as ignimbrite. Number 8. Mount Shindake Eruption Although this one is not one of the largest volcanic eruptions in the history of mankind, we chose to feature it on our list because we found great footage of the eruption. Not to mention the fact that this eruption occurred in 2015, so it's pretty recent. At Mount Shindake, which is located around 2,100 miles above sea level, posed a threat to the local population that lived near the base of the caldera. The previous eruption occurred in August of 2014, right after you smashed that like button if you haven't done so already. But in all seriousness, this volcano was devastating. The Meteorological Agency of Japan said that the eruption caused a level five alert, the highest one on the scale. So all 140 residents of the small island of Kuchi no Irabu had to evacuate their homes in the morning. And this time, the Japanese authorities were not taking any chances. Just eight months prior to this eruption, another one occurred on Mount Ontaki and took the lives of 57 people. Number seven, Santa Maria Volcanic Eruption. When it comes to recency, this one is neither in the ancient past nor the 21st century. The first as well as the largest eruption of this volcano happened in 1902. At the time, this volcano, located 12,000 feet above sea level, had devastated the local population for days. Santa Maria began the reign of chaos, and for 19 consecutive days, 1.3 cubic miles of debris fell on the lands near the island. And 10 years later, the volcano remained active, so small explosive eruptions could still be heard at the nearby Crater Lake. All of the volcanic activity led to the creation of the Dacite Lava Dome, which is currently known by the name of Santiaguito. The Lava Dome has been forming from 1922 until 1972. Number six. Krakatoa Volcanic Eruption. This happened about 19 years prior to the Santa Maria Volcanic Eruption. 
end, it was one of the deadliest in recorded history. The explosions from the Krakatoa volcanic eruption were so loud that people in Perth, which is 1,930 miles away from this Indonesian caldera, heard it. It was a Sunday. None of the local population expected such a violent outburst of the volcano above. And still, on August 26, 1883, around 70% of the island was engulfed in the magma and it became part of the volcanic caldera. What about the locals? All 36,417 of them were swallowed by the two-day-long volcanic activity, along with any settlements nearby. According to the VEI, this volcanic eruption was a level 6, which means there must have been around 23 cubic miles of debris and magma that was released from this volcano, making it one of the largest in human history. And we almost forgot, the eruption released 20 million tons, yeah you heard that right, 20 million tons of sulfur. Number 5. Crater Lake Volcanic Eruption Whenever you hear the words Crater Lake, it should signify that there used to be an active volcano where the lake currently sits. This crater lake is found on Mount Mazama in Oregon, USA. The lake formed when a volcanic eruption, around 7,700 years ago, almost destroyed the entire mountain. You think that's impossible? Well, what if we told you that this volcano managed to lower the mountain's elevation from 12,000 feet above sea level to only 8,000 feet above sea level? A third of the mountain was wiped from the face of the earth. Currently, Crater Lake in Oregon is the deepest freshwater lake in the USA. At its deepest point, the lake is 1,943 feet deep and this eruption echoed through the folklore of the Native American who inhabited the region for more than 10,000 years. Number 4. Chiang Baishan Volcanic Eruption Right on the border where the People's Republic of China and North Korea meet, there is an old, inactive volcano that ravaged the lands around 1,000 years ago. The famous Chiang Baishan volcano was one of the most violent and deadliest volcanoes in the past 10,000 years. The biggest eruption of this volcano happened around the year 970 AD. This is when the volcano erupted around 7.2 cubic miles of magma, which currently makes the large caldera of the volcano. And it wasn't the last one. This volcano remained active in the following years, and the last minor explosion happened in April of 1903. The caldera is more than three miles long, and it has a depth of 2,800 feet. On top of it, there is a small lake known as Lake Tianchi, or Sky Lake. Number three, Mount St. Helens eruption. US history has never seen a natural disaster so devastating in the books. The fateful day was March 27, 1980. On Mount St. Helens, located in Washington, USA, numerous volcanic eruptions scarred the landscape of the region. The VEI assigned it a dangerous level 5, so that means 2.3 cubic miles of magma and ash covered the land. All of it is documented and the Mount St. Helens eruption meant 57 people wouldn't see the light of day. If we're talking money, then $1.1 billion were engulfed in the flames in the form of property. That's $3.4 billion in today's money. And 11 neighboring US states got to sense the ashes of this giant volcano. To call this eruption a disaster would be an understatement. Why? Because the eruption column reached a record height of 80,000 feet in the air. Number two, Yellowstone volcanic eruption. We had to include Yellowstone in this list. It is considered one of the largest supervolcanoes in the world measuring around 34 by 45 miles. It is one of the biggest inactive volcanoes in the world, which hasn't been active for approximately 630 years. And with such a size, some people and scientists believe that should this Wyoming-based volcano erupt, it would mean the death of the world as we know it. Ash and dust would cover the globe and eventually ending life as we know it. But fear not, the caldera has been formed around 2.1 million years ago, when the first eruption occurred. And then we had a second one about 1.3 million years ago, 
The third one, as we already said, happened around 630 years ago. So, if past performance is any indicator, we say we have another couple of thousands of years before this one blows. So, no reason to panic. Number 1. Io Volcanic Eruption We've looked at many of the volcanic eruptions happening here on Earth. But what about volcanic eruptions on other planets? Is there volcanic activity on planets like, oh, I don't know, Jupiter? Well, it's not Jupiter that's had a volcanic reaction in the last years, but one of its moons sure did. It was Io, and it was all recorded. From the 400 active volcanoes on its surface, Voyager managed to take a recording of one of the erupting volcanoes. At first, scientists didn't know what to make of this little sphere in the back of Io. But then, they found out that it was a volcano, and upon eruption, it released a huge amount of sulfur, giving the moon its distinct but weird color. And how tall was the volcanic eruption? Oh, it was a measly 250 miles from the surface of Io. What the bloody hell? And on that note, we end this video. But hey, have you ever seen a volcanic eruption from afar? You can tell us in the comments section below. If you'd like more videos like these, don't forget to subscribe to our channel and hit the bell icon so you never miss any of them. And as always, thanks for watching, guys.